Sean Hands at Onken Church, which is 83 miles into the parish walk course, just a week before the 2008 clerical medical walk. I'm going to start by asking Sean how his preparations are and how he feels compared to last year. Uh, compared with last year, a lot better. Uh, last year I did very little training, um, so the training's gone really well this year. Are you in as good shape or better or um, as 2006? Sort of as good, uh, as fit. I've had a couple of little niggles, but um, apart from that, pretty good. Your 20 kilometre performance at Andreas the other week was almost identical to two years ago. Is that an indicator? Yeah, it normally is sort of an indicator of how well things are going at that time, yeah. So we can expect to see you right up there with the record again? Um, I don't know about the record, but up the front somewhere. I'd like to do a pretty quick time, yeah. Who do you see, uh, I think, most people have their opinion on who they see as the, your main competitors, but are you worried about anybody or are you going to walk your own uh, race or who I, do you respect? Um, well, especially Robbie because you know, I think he's done. Uh, but I just do my own thing and I don't really bother about anybody else. So if you weren't in the race then who would you expect to win? That's probably the fairest way. I think Robbie's got to be the favourite. His experience outweighs the uh, the, the, the walking technique that the yeah. likes of Jock Waddington and Michael George and people like that have. Yeah. So, uh, yes, uh, Rob, Robbie's. You, you've you've been in the experience. You've been in the position where you saw Robbie off two years ago, but you've also chased him a few times. And yeah. uh, I think 2005, you had a bit of a Titanic battle with him. Yeah. Tell us about that race and what went wrong that year. Um, that year, I had a. Well, Robbie had a, a bad spell as well. I had a bad spell where I was feeling sick, and uh, well, virtually the second half of the race, I virtually ate nothing. So I virtually ran out of energy from uh, halfway or a bit past that. Uh, Robbie had a bad spell with cramp as well, where he lost five minutes in a few miles. So everybody gets a little bit bad spells. When you, when you first came into the sport, you, you walked as far as Mackled, yeah. and then you completed every year between 2002 and 2006, yeah. improving every year. Um, tell those that don't already know how you first came to get involved. Um, I just came to do it the first. My sister wanted to do it for a charity, so I decided to walk with her. And she was only going to go to Peel, and um, I just when we got there, well, she stopped at Rush and I carried on and I uh, wanted to see how far I could go and I managed to make Mackled. And were you determined saying yeah, this is it, I, I'm going to be there next year? the hardest thing by a long way I'd ever done before so I decided to train properly and have a proper go the next year I was determined to finish. Had you ever done any athletic events before? No. Nothing no, at all? Nothing, not really, no. Given that you're, you're 45 now, um, you were quite a late starter. Yeah. Um, you've obviously got the maturity with those years to, to handle the pressure. But um, do you, do you, athletically, if you'd started a few years earlier, you might have been faster still. Do you ever wish that you had started uh, sooner? I think everybody would wish that. But you, you're, quite, you're quite happy you've never yeah, I'm very happy, yeah. serious regrets. Yeah. Now again, a lot of people know, but I'm going to state the obvious, that uh, you've won the 100 miles on two occasions. Yeah. Um, very tough going into them uh, just a few weeks after the parish walk. Um, you won them, so it's great performance, yeah. but it must have been very hard and perhaps t took the edge off the times that you could have done, Yeah, particularly yeah. the second year. Yeah, it, I wouldn't do another one because it it's just too close and uh, you don't get enough time to recover. I think you need at least sort of three months afterwards to recover properly. Would you would you do the hundred miles again? I might. I've, I've, I've thought about doing another one, but it'd be somewhere else. Um, the UK one's always too close. It's always five eight weeks sort of after the parish walk. So maybe one a European one or something. Do you make all your decisions yourself uh, as to where you're going to race, or do you, who do you consult about these? No, just what I want to do. Have you had any coaching over the years? Um. Well, I started doing the, after the first year, I started going down to the um, the 10Ks, walking, um, the Winter League, and that sort of, that brought me on a, a lot, I learned a lot from doing that, and walking with other people. Um, but how much of your success would you uh, credit to natural talent, your determination, the coaching advice that you've had? Or are you going to say it's a mixture uh, of all of them? It's a mixture of all of them. There wasn't much natural talent to start with. <laughs> right. 
because because this is something that a lot of people when for instance you powered away from the rest of the field uh, two years ago um, when you do a job well everybody thinks it's easy yeah yeah I but everybody I bet it wasn't. says that now it's, it's a lot of hard training and it's the work that goes in beforehand yeah, more yeah. than anything isn't it yeah and that was that what was lacking last year uh, last year I did very little training I couldn't get very motivated so I left me training too late and I just wasn't training you said that you'd like to uh, have another go at 100 miles sometime. What about any other distances? Does anything else appeal uh, to you? Are you going to have another go at I the end to end or 50k? Uh, if I'm fit this year, I think I'd have a go at the, the end to end. I don't plan on doing a 50k. Uh, I have thought of doing a 200 kilometer one in Europe. But right. Yeah, Would that sure. be next year? Maybe, I don't know. We'll see yeah. how it goes. And how excited are you about next week, or how nervous are you? Which, uh, which is starting it? to get a bit nervous now, yeah. Yes. I always say that there's to get things right, you've got to do an awful lot of things right, but it only takes one thing to yeah. go wrong, to yeah. spoil it all. Is that yeah. how, how you feel? That yeah. you, you don't want to neglect the obvious preparation? And, no. And, uh, have you had any other media approaches? Have you been doing any radio interviews or anything else for the no, TV? No, luckily I haven't had to do anything else. <laughs> Well, I've, I've left you quite late in the day, so thanks very much for cooperating and uh, I'm sure everybody will be uh, out there watching you next week and uh, wishing you